Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this one is all about 10v11 and how dragons have kind of made their way into the most popular strategy that I've been seeing for these two star attempts. They've been working very well. I've used them in my own attacks, and many of my clanmates have used them, and I think they have. Uh, the buff that dragons got in the most recent update has um, made them a very good option and in some ways negated some of the new uh, upgrades that Town Hall 11 to get, such as the level 5 Infernos, level uh, 15 Archer Towers. Uh, most bases still don't have them, but I think it'll help soften that a little bit so it's not that difficult, um, at least as difficult as a 10v10 is. Uh, to two star these town hall 11 so let's get into the video um this first attack is by extremes and uh, he's going to uh, attack a base cleaning it up actually this was one of the bases i attacked um and i was close but did not get the two star so coming in to clean it up here nice attack and this is probably the most common type of strategy so you can see a few different variations of this dragon strategy but this one um, is one of my favorites because it's basically just a huge queen walk you can see he has five different rages and these air defenses being put towards the outside of the base which i think in part is to help defend um, ground attacks just they're not as important to keep in the base but also potentially to defend uh, three-star attempts as well by putting the air defenses towards the corners uh, but it, it makes it much easier to do this he actually goes ahead and drops in a dragon um, I'm not sure what the purpose was if he was soaking up traps or just to tank and take out a few buildings um, but he drops in one dragon there it might have even been a miss uh, tap not sure people say misclick which I I hate because you don't click on a touch screen, but I don't know. Kind of a pet peeve of mine. Anyway, though, um, the queen walk is going to get so much percentage that he's going to actually be at about 46% um, once he sends in those dragons. And that's what makes this one uh, iteration or this one uh, type of dragon attack very interesting is that the queen walk is so much of the percentage you're just using those five dragons or so to dive in for the very last few buildings, one of them being the town hall, the queen clearing out a very clear path to that town hall. There goes the king to tank and support the queen, so making sure that queen walk gets even more value, a few wizards even to push him uh, towards those defenses, and the queen's going to get much more as she steps up and continues to take out buildings here. Uh, right here, the CC comes out. The queen will, I think, in part deal with that. If she, she, I think she might go down. Actually, never mind. He has the ability still. So she takes out with the CC. Now here comes a CC of Max Dragon, a few loons, plus a few of his own loons, plus a few dragons in one rage for them. Uh, the loons are a nice touch because... The dragons will target heroes and buildings, and, um, just like regular buildings, but the balloons will focus on those defenses, which can really get those taken out, get the damage off the dragons, because you don't need to invest all your troop space in dragons, uh, most of it for sure, when it comes to your air attack uh, portion, but some of it you can use for balloons to help funnel the dragons as well. If there's a defense that might pull them, uh, the balloons will get in there and take it out, so uh, easily gets that town hall already up to about 60% here. He'll grab a few more buildings as this one runs out of time, actually. So great stuff to extremes. Uh, my favorite type of dragon attack, this long queen walk with the, the dive for the town hall. The dragons only picked up about 10%, more than that, maybe like 15%. Um, but the important thing is they're getting the town hall. So um, as in any attack where you're trying to two star a town hall 11 you have to balance percentage versus assurance that you'll get the town hall and in that one the percentage is almost all in the queen and the percentage or yeah the percentage is almost all in the queen walk and the town hall is of course going to all be in the dragons and sometimes in like bowler attacks the two things are the same thing you're doing one uh cohesive kill squad one push to get the town hall and the percentage. Uh, this one's much more uh, segmented and it's much more stratified in terms of you know uh, which part of the attack's achieving what goal. So kind of interesting. Um, this next one by God of War is different. There's no queen walk, but um, it's you know a little bit of a different type 
uh, goal for each of these parts of the, the attack. Really for this one, the percentage is going to be gotten by the dragons. The dragons are, are not only getting the town hall, but they're needed to pick up about 25% of the base because the queen steps up. He actually used a rage on the queen without any healers, which is interesting, but it worked out okay. Got her damage up for sure uh, before she has to pop the ability and then eventually go down. Um, but gets that air defense taken out. Once again, these bases were very good for this strategy, but you can also push deeper into the base to get deeper air defenses if the base is right for it. You just gotta be able to see if there's a clear path for your dragons towards that town hall, and if you can neutralize the air defenses and create the funnel on the necessary side in order for your dragons to get to that town hall. But look, 29% of the base is taken out as these dragons come in, and still quite a bit standing between them and the town hall, which is... It's, it's actually better that way because that way he doesn't have to take out all those core buildings to get the percentage. The dragons pick up the percentage as they enter the base. Pathing is pretty nice. Uh, Town Hall is touching a lot of these buildings. And the queen pulls in the dragons, which is actually a very helpful component a lot of the time, is the queen pulling the dragons towards that Town Hall if they otherwise would not be going in there. So they spread out here, get some more percentage. He has a few archers, I think, also. Um, but there it is, the 50% already gotten. We'll fast forward to the end of this one. Um, nice attack, <clears throat> nice attack there. Good two star, and we'll move on to one more um, of these attacks. Uh, this is Tornado Top Links, and he is doing a Zap Quake version of this with nine dragons. So really loading up on the dragons here. Um, Basically, the heroes, you know, you can use them in so many different ways. It doesn't have to be a queen walk. You don't have to use them separately. They can go together like they do in this one. Uh, they just have to um, typically get air defenses. Now, sometimes all four air defenses are going to be on one side of the base um, for, like, some kind of anti-three-star uh, mix in, in one of these Town Hall 11 bases. So sometimes you don't even have to worry about air defenses. Uh, but other times they are pretty easy to get with the heroes. So this one just drops down those heroes, gets about 16% of the base, um, may even get 17 here. Uh, and then the air defense, of course, which is a very good thing to get. And also part of the funnel, you'll see that in a moment. Then at the bottom, uh, Baby Dragon Hound some balloons, and um, he's going for it. So the, the Hound will tank that air defense. Um, pretty rare that you see a air defense being attacked by the air troops. You typically have the heroes or something dealing with it, but I guess he felt it was too deep in the base. He can only use his heroes in one location. He didn't even want to uh, to worry about it. Just drops down a hound and a few balloons. They get it taken out. And then the funnel on the other side of the base has to be created by the dragons themselves. So luckily he has a few dragons working down there and the pathing is right. Um, at least a few of them will go to that town hall. But one thing he did do that was very important and debatable how much value this gets but it is the zap quake on the air defense or on the air sweeper the air sweeper can be very difficult for dragons because it pushes them back which screws up their pathing it makes them uh, take so much longer to get through the base so it'll blow them away from the town hall sometimes which can make it difficult it is an investment of five spell space two regular spells, one dark spell with the Zap Quake to take out that Air Sweeper. So a bit of an investment, but the reason he did it is because he only needed three Rages for the Dragons, didn't need much for the Heroes, so he had the extra spell space. Oftentimes you're better off freezing it if you can freeze like the Eagle or an Inferno. You might want to just freeze it, but that can work as well with the Zap Quake. Um, just kind of look at the base, see what you have uh, spell space for, and like I said, just it's a balance get the percentage and get the town hall, use your heroes, use kill squads as necessary to funnel, take out key buildings, then send those dragons in for uh, the remaining percentage, however much it could be, as well as the town hall, which is the specialty of the dragons. So hope this one helped. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, sorry for the lack of uploads lately, I should say that. Um, just been really busy this week, but it'll calm down pretty soon. So. That'll do it, and I'll see you guys soon. Bisectatron out.